Hey guys, welcome back to the Girl Gone London channel. If you're new here, my name is Kaylin. I'm an American who's lived in the UK for almost 10 years and today I'm in the UK but actually I'm in Florida. So I am at Epcot's UK Pavilion in Orlando, Florida, a Disney World theme park, and they have an entire section dedicated to the UK. So I'm gonna take you around. I feel like I'm qualified now after 10 years to determine if it is accurate or not, but I thought I would let you see what Americans think the UK looks like based on their research. So come along with me. The first thing we have is kind of, um, I think I'm just like a neighborhood. So we've got, you know, some of the terraced houses here. Um, let me let me take you along. Okay, yeah, so we've got this kind of wrought iron gate, this very typical British looking. I mean, I've never, that doesn't, um, I mean, maybe. Do we have balconies like that in the UK? Um, the very UK style windows, these are the sash windows that you guys are telling me about when I say my windows open out and you say but some of them do open up. So they've gone with these. This is cast members only. But again, this is what they think the UK looks like. We've got some lanterns, a nice, let's see if we can zoom out, some nice gardens. Take a look at these lamp posts. I mean, definitely looking at this, here's a thatched roof over here. So we've got some teacups in the windows over here. And it of course attaches again. My house looks more similar to these ones, uh, but only one of these because it's a small mid terrace house. If you look over here again, you can kind of see what they're going for. Now there's a lot more to explore. So I'm just gonna go ahead and keep you on record as I walk around. So we've got some nice flowers. And here's our terrace house that we're looking at. I think that looks obviously fake, but relatively accurate. Um, and we've got some teacups in the window. So here's kind of a 360 degree view of this section. So if we walk over here, we're gonna be able to see some more gardens. So we are in the outdoor space right now that more to me resembles, yeah, like a park or a neighborhood. Soon we're gonna get to go onto a high street, but let's see what we can find over here. Okay, so we've actually come into more like London style housing. It says Upper Regency Street. So they've got the street signs pretty accurate and then we come over here we've got a nice gazebo in the park so yeah let's go up to a door and see what we can find so again we're in Orlando Florida right now the weather is not very British it is scalding hot but let's go and see what's going on up this door. I'm gonna say this looks like a British door. Again, it's obviously fake. That looks like a painted mail slot. We've got a door knocker. What else can we find? Some benches outside. Okay, so there's that section. So again, this is called Upper Regency Street. This is what they think the UK looks like. Now we'll come over here where I see something called Tudor Lane. And this looks like it's gonna have some stuff in the window. So we'll go show you that. So you can see the upstairs portion of it and some Disney trash cans, not very British, but there you go. Check out this UK themed Disney stuff in the window. And of course, a Corgi. But we've obviously got some Winnie the Pooh stuff in here. Winnie the Pooh being a British 
uh, creation and we've also got some Alice in Wonderland stuff as we walk further on as well as just some general kind of UK stuff to see here. <laughs> Downton Abbey jewelry. Okay, so I'm outside now and we are on another part of Tudor Lane. Just wandering this, what I'm assuming is kind of a high street. So we'll take you multiple places. Let's go ahead and come back to where we left off. We've got the sportsman shop, which unfortunately is closed. Uh, this reminds me of a building in Oxford. Is it, it looks like the Pret in Oxford that looks really fancy. I know you guys are going to be like, all you can compare it to is the Pret in Oxford, but um, yeah. So we've got this. Again, we've got kind of different types of British architecture all together. So it's not meant to be like one particular area. There's some darts in that window. The toy soldier. And so here's where we came from, where I took you to the London looking terraced houses. Okay, so let's come back this way. We've got the crown and the crest. Now, what I'm about to show you on the left um, is actually modeled after Hampton Court Palace. So you can see how well of a job you think they did. And then I'll take you down the high street to check out the pub, the fish and chips, and the telephone booths. So there's Sportsman Shop again. So we're gonna come around the corner. Obviously there's a bunch of Americans here, so that does not look British. And this is literally called the High Street. They've just named it High Street. So yeah, this is our High Street and this is their kind of version of Hampton Court Palace. So does it make sense geographically with where everything is? No, but we've got a mini Hampton Court Palace in Orlando. So comment below, do you think, what do you think so far? Does it look like the Britain you're used to? Um, I guess this is mostly England, though they call it the UK, but I don't really see any kind of other influences. I think they've kind of done the American thing where it's all lumped into one. And if we walk down here, we'll find more Americans, as well as a sign leading us to the restrooms, not a British saying. And of course, could it possibly be a replica of the UK if you didn't have the classic mailbox and the telephone booths? I will say this is obviously the first version of the UK I ever saw coming to Disney World as a kid. Um, so this was what I had to compare the real UK to. And over here, they've got a little Ireland food stand. That's for a specific event that's happening. It's not usually there, but it's kind of placed there because geographically Ireland is to the left of Britain. And so now we're back on the high street coming back. And if you're still watching, comment and let me know. What do you think about all this? Uh, here we've got the Rose and Crown pub. And of course they have fish and chips, which people say are good. And people who are familiar with uh, real fish and chips say they're good. So we'll take their word for it. I'm not gonna try them today because it's like hundred degrees Fahrenheit outside. And here we have some Disney employees with their uh, garbage cans. And so we've got more. So what do you think? Is this, is this a good, you know, fake replica? What looks wrong about it? What looks right? I'd love for you to comment. And we have like a little, nice little house over here. And we've got just one more section. So I don't think I took you right around the corner here from this angle. So this is the thatched roof house from the front. And we've got Yorkshire County Fish Shop over here. So Rose and Crown 
is our pub and they've got the chippy over here now the one thing i wanted to mention about this come over here with me and let me show you what's on the menu so we can go ahead and check out here fish shop fish and chips cuties mandarin three pack now they're talking about oranges oranges slash tangerine slash mandarin they're not sold at a fish and chip shop usually so i'm not entirely sure where they got that idea from um come around here and that's where we started in i was kind of over that way and this is a little bit of a panoramic view of Epcot at the UK Pavilion. Okay, so we've made it to the end of the tour. There are other country pavilions in Epcot. Uh, so we're right next to France, which actually has a little stream with a bridge in between the UK and the France Pavilion meant to represent the English Channel. So things like that, Disney touches. Um, again, this is all meant to be fake. So it obviously all does look fake, but I think it's a pretty good it captures the feel of the UK pretty well, I feel like, in a lot of places. Um, so I'm standing in front of the thatched roof house over here. And again, we're back and I've got the gardens behind me. So leave a comment below. What do you think they did well? What stood out to you as something that doesn't look like what you're used to? Would you be fooled if I sent you pictures? I know that in the video you can kind of tell a little bit more that things are maybe painted on or not real. But if I sent you a picture of some of this stuff, could you be fooled into thinking that it was part of the UK? Definitely comment down below, let me know. Make sure to hit the subscribe button if you want more UK versus US content. I'm not even sure how I could get more UK versus US than this video, which is why I wanted to do it for you guys to show you the only really replica of the UK replica that I know of in the US right here in Orlando, Florida. So I I'm off to go and enjoy the rest of the day at Epcot, uh, but thank you guys very much for watching and I'll see you next time.